All right, so here's a problem from your homework. Uh, number 19 is what we're focusing on. Uh, and we're going to focus on because it, it has fractions involved. How fun. All right, so negative 12 and 3 fourths plus 6 and 9 tenths. So when we're adding and subtracting, not when we're multiplying or dividing, but when we add and subtract with fractions, we have to make sure we have a common denominator. Now, when we're multiplying, it's because we multiply straight across and it doesn't matter. But when we add and subtract with fractions, we need to have a common denominator. Okay? So, when we have a common denominator, that means we need to find a number that both 4 and 10, because those are my denominators, let's go ahead and circle those there. So, 4 and 10 have in common. Uh, all right, that the low, least common multiple that 4 and 10 share. So, I'm thinking about a number 40, I know, because 4 times 10 is 40, so I know 40 would work. But is there a smaller number that both of them can go into? And I think the answer is 20, because 4 times 5 is 20, and 10 times 2 is 20. So, here's what I do. I leave negative 12 and 6 alone, because I'm just worrying about the fractions right now. So, as we talked about, 20 is my least common multiple. So, I need to multiply the denominator by 5, because 4 times 5 is 20. But whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Just like how when we talked about whatever you do to the one side, we do to the other. Same thing for fractions. Whatever you do to the top, you got to do to the bottom. All right, now we go over the 10. 10 times 2 equals 20, and whatever I do to the bottom, we got to do to the top. So when I rewrite my problem, I have 12 and 15 twentieths, because 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 6, 9 times 2 is 18, and 10 times 2 is 20. All right, now when I do these problems... You just focus on the numbers in, in front first, so negative 12 plus 6. And those are different signs, so I subtract. 12 minus 6 equals 6, and 12 has the bigger number, so it's negative 6. And then, when we do the fractions, we have to remember that the negative belongs to 15, and that the positive belongs to 18. So, it's negative 15 plus 18. Negative 15 plus 18. So different signs subtract. 18 minus 15 is 3, and it will be a positive 3 because 18 is the bigger number. So my final answer here is negative 6 and 3 twentieths.